Uh, so we'll wreck our way in there. Let's put a rage spell down, drop our heroes. What's up guys, my name is Cole and welcome back. So lately I have been pushing a lot of trophies, like really hardcore, um, because yesterday I was in gold 2 and look at me now, I'm already in crystal 3 and on my way to crystal 2 by hopefully the end of tonight. So I've been doing some hardcore trophy pushing and for the first time in pretty much ever, uh, I actually put my trophy base to use on actual player versus player servers and see how it held up. And honestly, it held up freaking amazing. So let's go ahead and check out my defensive log right here. I mean, obviously, it's fucking beautiful. Look at this. Your defense won, your defense won, your defense won, your defense won, your defense won. It is absolutely going crazy and bringing in so many cups. And keep in mind, these cups are all in Crystal League. Uh, that's where I won them all. So actually, I won one, two, three, four, five consecutive defenses nonstop. I didn't have any shield. They just kept on attacking me, kept on going, and I still don't have a shield since no one has defeated me yet. So I actually wanted to go ahead and show you guys a few of these defenses and then wrap it up with a live attack at the end. So hopefully you guys are interested in that. Also about the speed build, I'll probably be putting that up either today or tomorrow. Sorry, I've been kind of distracted and busy. Hence why this video is going up pretty late today. But let's go ahead and check out the first attack on the base. Oh, we can't actually do that. So we can only go four back. So let's do this one. Uh, he's using giants and uh, something else. So let's check it out. All right, so looks like he is going to be attacking from the left side using Giants. Pretty much not aware that I do have Clan Castle troops, so he's going to be stupid and be like, you know what? I will kill Jew, because that's his name, right? His name's Jew, so he really wants to kill me or Jew or whatever it is. But my archers are coming out with a little greeting party, and he, he goes pretty smart, drops a lightning spell, takes out all of them, but that's no matter. Uh, my base is set up pretty well, so the Giants are going to work their way to the outside of the base before going to the inside. And he drops down that heal spell frantically. Uh, my Archer Queen is going to take out quite a few of those wizards. The wizards are like, go for the wall! And all of his troops, wow, those Giants are just flying uh, little birds. Uh, he has a lot of wizards, but they're going to get taken out pretty dramatically here in a sec, I believe. Uh, there we go, Wizard Tower took out all these. Oh, look at that, one shot at double one shot at those archers. Finally made it through the wall, and they didn't go very far. More flying barbarians. I mean, there are just so many flying troops on my screen right now. It's pretty crazy. It's like, oh my god. Giant bomb. Bam. No more barbarians for you, Jew. Uh, you fucking Jew. And his giants made it to the center, but no matter. His barbarians think they can take out that wizard tower. But too little, too late. The battle has already been over. Came away with 30%, took a little bit of my loot, but keep in mind that when you are trophy pushing, it is not about loot, it is all about the win, so I am completely content with that. Uh, let's check out the other attack. We actually had a hog rider, now this one was hilarious. Uh, he used 37 maxed out hog riders on my base, and this is prior to be attacked, you can see the tombstones right there. And here goes, all the hog riders going in, uh, clan castle hog riders too. Pretty stupid of him not to try and lure out my clan castle, but he's going to be greeted by some level 5 wizards and whatnot. Giant bomb goes off, kind of a waste there, but uh, his hogs are going to the outside and they get, should be taken out pretty easily. I mean, they're already getting damaged and they're kind of spreading out now. The expos are constantly shooting. Now keep in mind this expo, I don't think it's going to stop shooting this whole entire battle. It's pretty crazy. Um, all of his hogs are pretty much gone. He's got a few left. Uh, my anti-hog, it's also it can act as anti-hog because it kind of sent them to the outside. As you can see, he kept them away from that center compartment. All he's got left is his Archer Queen, some archers, and whatnot. I believe he actually did take quite a bit of my gold, but, you know, once again, that's totally fine. Hence why we have this little elixir ball sack at the bottom of the screen. 30 seconds left in the raid, and he does something pretty smart here. Um, waits to use his Queen special ability, drops down a heal spell, and luckily gets this gold storage. My troops try and stop him, but it's not enough for the Furious Mighty Queen. Whoa! She's gonna take out that wizard! And those little dead bodies. Poor wizards. Uh, I think he's going to keep going with this attack. Not really much else he can do. Shoot in the wall and the battle will be over. So yeah, that was another defensive win. 42% on that one. I'll see how many gained. I gained 19. Yeah, you know, I'm just going to like start speaking like gibberish because obviously I'm really good at that. Uh, so the last attack that we had was a weird one. It was like, uh, it was meant to be a balloon, but it wasn't a balloonian. It was more just a balloon raid, but... 
Uh, you know, obviously the people that are attacking my base think that I don't have clan castle troops because all these tombstones. So they're just like, you know what, let's go in right away. And right about here, after they get to the air defense, he's probably like crapping his pants. I bet you he's going to start spamming some troops eventually. Uh, there he goes. Yeah, he's like, oh my god. Clan castle troops freaking out. These balloons are going to get absolutely annihilated by his wizards. Watch how fast they fall. Bam. Come on. Go down. All right, there you go. They're making their way towards the center. Oh, that was so much destruction. He freaks out, drops down his dragons at the outside. Uh, didn't look like he got much done here. Um, you know, the usual fail raid on my base. Uh, he's at 23% so far. The dragons are going to go on for a while. I'm going to go ahead and speed that up. Drops his Barbarian King. Obviously going to get distracted and go towards the outside. So not much of a win there. Uh, two more dragons left. Uh, he thinks he can make it towards the town hall or something. I don't know what he's doing. Another heal spell. Not going to be enough to save that dragon's life. What a waste. He obviously wasted a ton of elixir. 36% and another defend by the mighty Colson. So my base is working out super good. And I'm really excited to share it with you guys. I'm really positive you guys are going to enjoy it and yeah so let's go ahead and get right into this live attack uh, let me go over what I'm going to be using it's kind of like a combo of Barch and giant and wizard attack uh, it's been working out for me really well up here in crystal league and got me at least two stars for most of my battles so I'm going to go ahead and find a raid and I will see you guys in a sec okay you guys so I definitely found a base I want to go for because look at that he has 32 cups available uh, he has some pretty good dark elixir not much elixir or gold but you know that's fine we still have quite a bit in our storages so um, what I actually want to do is go ahead and attack from the top because I want to make sure I at least get that elixir uh, so basically what I do is, with this strategy is I drop down my giants first so let's go ahead and do that and followed up by other troops uh, make sure we get all these wizards spread out on the outside it's almost like a go wipe or wee wee something like that you know make them piss their pants uh, we're gonna go straight down the center with some of these wall breakers hopefully get some minions in there uh, so we'll wreck our way in there. Let's put a rage spell down drop our heroes Hopefully they can go towards the center as well drop a few of those guys more wall breakers and some archers uh, We're making our way towards the center pretty nicely. Uh, let's have some ooh. There was a giant bomb there I didn't really see that uh, let's drop down another rage because they are getting towards the center activate our king's ability to make sure He does not die. Uh, he does have some balloons in there, and that's kind of causing a little bit of a pain in my ass, but uh, looks like we oh my god. I'm so sorry you guys. You're probably like looking at the screen like what the fuck I can't see shit. There's so much red. I was just dropping my troops like retardedly and didn't even notice it I was like why are my troops dropping down and obviously it was because I was misclicking and so yeah I'm pretty smart there. Uh, looks like we are gonna be able to get pit two starts on this attack uh, Why don't we save our archer queens health and come away with all that dark elixir two stars and 21 trophies for Colson now the nice thing about being in a higher league is obviously the loot bonus increases so it's less about what is in the base and more about the cups. So if you guys enjoyed this video and you are enjoying the push, uh, you know, let me know. I'm also kind of interested in doing a pushing series. So if you guys would like to see me push as high as I possibly can and make a series of that on my channel, please leave a like button. Please leave a like button. Yeah, I would love you to leave a like button. Just leave all these like buttons on my channel. We could have like so many like buttons and then everyone can like the like buttons and we'll just have so many likes. It'll be freaking amazing. Oh my god. No, but yeah, um, if you guys want that, you know, please leave down in the comments that you are interested uh, because I would be super interested in that. And yeah, with that being said, you guys have a great day. And as always, people, I love you.